Hey, hey, hello. My name is Quatisha Renee, and you are watching Quatisha Creates. You guys, today we are going to be making a snow globe tumbler. If you want to know how I made this tumbler, just keep watching. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, y'all, so here is a list of supplies that we'll need to make this tumbler. Feel free to pause this screen if you need to. We're gonna start with our four ounces of water. Then we're gonna add in our two ounces of Elmer's glue and then two ounces of vegetable glycerin. So now we're just gonna grab a spoon and mix our liquids together. Now we're gonna take our liquids and pour it into our condiment bottle. I purchased this condiment bottle from Walmart. Okay, now this is where I may confuse you. In this video or in this clip, I'm using a hot fix tool to create my hole. In the tumbler that I'll actually be working in or working with in this video, I use a drill. I created two holes with the ones where I used the drill. I didn't film that because I prefer this method over using the drill. Um, the drill is messy. This is, you get a clean hole like you see here and you're done. You just end up discarding the little melted piece of plastic that ends up in the hot fix tool and then you're basically done, you have your hole. So now we're going to apply our tape, if we can get it started. We're gonna apply our tape to the rim of the tumbler, well, the bottom of the tumbler, you know what I mean. And the reason why we do this is to help keep the glitter from spilling all over when we're tapping it all over, trying to get the glitter in the hole. The glitter we'll be using today to fill our tumbler is going to be a beautiful chunky mix from Silver Glitz Glitters. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has reds and pinks and silver. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's gonna pair perfectly with a set of rhinestones that I received and I plan on using to like bling my lid. Okay, now that's enough for show and tell. Let's go ahead and start filling up our tumbler with this glitter. So we are gonna focus on the larger hole. The second hole is just there to help with degassing once we put our fluids in. And I like to just put my glitter up there and just tap it in. Um, you'll have to move it around um, to make sure that it's not just sitting like plugging the hole. So you're just tapping it down and getting it to go down into the bottom of the tumbler. And then you're just gonna tap, tap, tap. This process probably took about five minutes um, to just fill it with glitter. You're gonna fill it as much with as much glitter as you'd like. If you're looking to achieve a similar look to what I achieved, then you want to fill your tumbler uh, with glitter up until about that, like half an inch from the last line. Isn't this like satisfying to watch? Me filling it with glitter and then the glitter like slowly disappearing into the hole. It's so satisfying. Is that weird? So if you're anything like me, you're gonna wanna know how much glitter this actually took. And it took about half a bottle of glitter. So I could complete two of these tumblers with this one bottle of glitter. Now that we've added our glitter, now we're going to go ahead and add our mixture to our tumbler now. We're just gonna bring it up to like the first line right right here and, um, and that way we can shake it around and have it like soak up some, some of that fluid before we start filling up the entire cup. So now when my liquid is sitting for a while, I like to shake it to make sure it's still good and mixed together. Okay, now we're gonna start um, adding our fluid. No side note, don't y'all be talking about my nails. Like, I know I need to get them done, but look, every time I go to get my nails done, they be tearing up my skin, they be tearing up my finger, they even be tearing up like my toes and my ankles and all that stuff, and I'm just not ready. Like, I'm thinking I'm gonna have them removed and just start doing my own nails. I don't know. So now that we have our fluid to, you know, a little, maybe like a half an inch higher than the actual glitter, I'm trying to um, get the mixture mixed down there into the glitter, get that glitter to soak up some of the mixture a little bit. Some people save this step to, you know, like the endish, but I like to go ahead and get it done now 
so that I'm not spilling the mixture all out the top of the tumbler. I end up working with the tumbler for a few minutes trying to really work down that fluid and before I give up and walk away because I got other stuff to do. So about an hour later, I can see that the liquid is slowly getting down there into the glitter and I decide I'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up and let it do its, let it do its thing overnight while I sleep. So I'm gonna go ahead and just fill it up so it can, you know, just degas overnight. I'm gonna fill it up as much as I can and yeah, this is just, you know, pretty self-explanatory. I'm just gonna fill it up as, get as much fluid in there as I can. I like to leave a little um, air pocket because I help, I feel like the, having like an air bubble in there helps to move the glitter along. Like I like the way that that looks. Some people will like stuff as much fluid in there as possible and that's fine too but that's just not the look that I was going for as you can see I had to stop filling it up because because the bottle started leaking and I'm thinking that maybe I didn't have the um <laughs> I didn't have the top on good so make sure you screw your top on real good while you're filling your tumbler, you'll need to tilt it um, from time to time just to make sure that you're not overfilling it and um, that, you know, your fluid is going in seamlessly. Once you're completely finished filling your tumbler with your fluid, you could go ahead and take the tape off. You can actually take the tape off before you start filling it, but I decided to wait till I was finished for whatever reason. So now I'm just going to go ahead and take a baby wipe and clean the glitter and mixture that's on the bottom of the tumbler off real quick. It's the next morning and we are here checking on our tumbler, trying to see if I need to add any more fluid and I'm really good with the way that it looks. I'm okay with this, this air bubble right here. Um, like I said, it's going to help with the movement of our slow flow mixture that we're that we've put inside now i'm going to take my 91 percent alcohol and some coffee filters and clean off the bottom of my tumbler in this mixture we have that glycerin so it's expected to be a little oily because nine out of ten some of the fluid has come out at some point so we're going to clean off the bottom of our tumbler really really well with some alcohol and we're gonna clean it as often as we need to. I had to change my coffee filter a couple of times. So if you're having to do the same thing, it's perfectly normal. Just make sure that it's really clean. Okay, now we're gonna close off our holes a little bit. Just create a little barrier between um, our liquid and our UV resin that we'll be using. So I just grabbed some clear tape and covered up the holes okay so after that i went and picked out another glitter to put on the bottom of my tumbler this isn't the same one that i have on the inside this one is more of a fine it's not a fine glitter but it is a smaller cut um, versus what is inside of the tumbler it is more of a chunky mix this is a finer cut and i'll leave the name of the both of the glitters um, in the description box all right besties y'all make sure you're being safe when you're working with this uv resin okay mask gloves open ventilated area okay so what i am gonna do now is i'm gonna take my uv resin and put it in a measuring cup and then a measuring cup medicine cup <laughs> put it in a, I'm going to put my UV resin in a medicine cup and then I'm going to add my glitter to that. We're going to mix our glitter and our UV resin pretty well and add either glitter, more glitter, or more UV resin depending on the consistency. I want my UV resin to completely cover my glitter. I don't want it to be like dry. 
Once we have our mixture to the perfect consistency, we're going to just go ahead and just scoop it out and plop it onto the bottom of our tumbler. And then we're going to smooth it out real nicely. Now, once we have it completely on the bottom of the tumbler, I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes um, uncured so that it can level out before we use our UV light. So after leaving it sitting on a flat surface for about five minutes, I came back and spritzed it with 91% alcohol a few times. And then after that, I'm ready for my UV lamp. Okay, and now you're just going to use your UV light. Um, follow the guidelines from your manufacturer. This UV light came with the resin that I'm using, I purchased it online from Amazon. It actually came in a kit for about $40. I got the resin, some mixing cups, stirring sticks that I don't use, and the UV light. So each layer of um, resin I used, um, I, I, heated, I heated under the lamp for about five minutes. I did tap and make sure that um, the layer beneath it was smooth before I went on to the next one. So um, here I am smoothing on the uh, my next layer of resin, UV resin. And then once I get it on smooth enough, then I'm gonna go ahead and use my light again for an additional five to six minutes. And just as a reminder, you want to try to keep the UV resin from along the outside rim of the cup because you don't want to make it like rocky when you have it on a flat surface. So in order to keep this, the, um, the bottom of the cup smooth, I was sure to keep the resin like within that little divot on the bottom of the cup. So here you see me just wiping along the edge of the cup with um, some alcohol and a coffee filter. After you finish with your UV light, you want to wipe down your tumbler with some 91% alcohol and then just shake it real good. Get that glitter flowing down. After giving the tumbler a good shake, this is what we're looking like. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the slow flow because like this is in real time and you can just see how the glitter is just you know slowly going down so you have time to fix your drink and then actually enjoy enjoy the view while you sip on your beverage so now we're going to prepare our area for our decal i'm not loving the green right here so i'm going to change it to a pretty holographic situation but first we're gonna sand our area. Be very careful not to actually scuff up your tumbler. If you have actual sanding paper, that'll be better to use because you can be more careful not to scratch your tumbler. But I don't have that, so I'm using what I have and I have a sanding block. Once you're done sanding your tumbler, you want to make sure that you clean it off really good. You can use soap and water if that's what you choose i'm using some isopropyl alcohol this is 60 percent isopropyl alcohol it doesn't really matter what percentage i wouldn't think it just needs to be clean and prepped for the decal that you're going to place over miss lady for the sake of time i already have my decal here ready to go i cut a round circle on the size of 3.6 i did 3.65 five um, inches and also the lady I just layered them on top of one another and um, yeah now we're just going to use our transfer tape to apply um, her to the tumbler here is our final results we did lose a nose right here but I did later find it um, unfortunately I didn't get any pictures with it just having the decal on it so this is the only footage I have, but this is how she turned out. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I love, 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 love. I love her. 
After I was done, I did end up putting some rhinestones around Miss Lady and, <laughs> and I'm also gonna rhinestone the lid. So be sure to watch my next tutorial. Guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and you can follow me on all my social medias. See you soon. Bye-bye.